wash away the pain There's a new day to take away your sorrow In the old ways get washed out doing really really well welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video of which today I thought I would pick up the camera vlog a little bit I'm going to take you guys shopping to the range with me because it's been a while since I've been in there and I believe I've seen on their socials that they're starting to tease us a little bit with their autumn stock so I thought I would get ahead of the game head on down there have a bit of a shop and bring you guys along with me and if I do pick anything up I'll of course include it within this video and show you guys what I do get. Before I do take you to the range I did just want to firstly talk a little bit about a new product that I have been loving and it is from Captain and Son. So you may remember me talk about Captain and Son a while back. I've got a couple of other products from there before. You may have seen as well at the start of the vlog footage that I did this morning that I showed you guys my newfound love, which is this bum bag. Well, it's actually crossbody, so you can adjust the straps where it like so. I personally wear it like around my waist and I wear this every single day. This is a lifesaver for my dog walks. This is called this Sveg in the sandstone colour. I will leave a link to the website below but I have to admit I feel like they're hero products and ones that I've had previously great for traveling great for on the go is their backpacks so if you're an adventurous person you like to go out and about if we take Barney for a longer walk and take some snacks and food and a little bit of a picnic with us then this is the sort of bag that I would reach for so this is a brand new style that they have which is so exciting again I picked this one up in the sandstone color so this is called the Vardo bag great for being compact nice and padded as well on the back and the straps so it's a very comfortable wear so the vado comes in an all black and it also comes in a muted clay which i thought i would show you just because it is beautiful it's like a two-tone gray great gift idea especially if you're buying for someone who is a bit adventurous likes to get out and about and always is in need of a backpack or a college student someone who needs their laptop it fits the laptop in perfectly and if you do buy it for a gift they also have a gift wrap option available on their website for you to see Select. So again, the fact that I love this so much, I'm definitely going to include a link in the description box for it should you wish to shop through. And I feel like, seeing as though we're going to the range for a bit of a browse, I'm going to actually take this bag because again, when I'm shopping, I like to be hands-free. And then I will head back and share with you guys all the things that I picked up and off we go i actually headed to the range in stockport it's quite a big store they've also got an iceland in there so if you want to kind of tie it in with a food shop as well then it is very handy to do that they've also got the outdoor garden area at the back and the seasonal section which they switch up as well i saw these gorgeous teddy fleece duvet sets in the clearance which i was tempted for and then also warm apple pie candle sounded amazing and i just want to tell her how i feel scream it out loud 
They still have lots of light and airy summery bits in these love heart candles which I love, the kind of faux flowers, faux foliage and lots of natural kind of textures like jutes, wooden things which I love adding into my home. You can't stop looking at her smile, then you've been in love. I do think the range is the best for their variety of faux flowers and they had these gorgeous gold leaf kind of stems in which I have never seen before. When she thinks nobody sees And when she's gonna miss her soul I tell her baby please don't go I think you should stay with me And I I really they had some orange cushions and throws, some caramel apple tea lights, so lots of kind of small things you could add within your home to kind of make it autumnal without having a Halloween kind of vibe. Have you felt like you were out of I love having a quick look around their lighting section as well. They had some beautiful lamps, some that I'm definitely considering coming back for once we have renovated and finished the upstairs. That's how you know you've been in love. So this was the Halloween section, like I said, Halloween predominantly, this is the only thing that wasn't really Halloween themed, the rest of it was very much kind of spooky, kids friendly kind of decor and accessories for Halloween parties, but they did have a few aisles empty, hopefully ready to be stocked with more stuff soon. always have a quick look in the pet section I think they have a really good range of products especially toys and then I headed to the bathroom section where I saw this beautiful kind of marble stone style soap dish which I loved and then in our range you kind of finish on the kitchen section leading on into the cleaning aisles and then the food as well successful trip in the range now Tom has actually just called me to say that he and Barney are walking to uh, Didsbury and if I can meet them there and pick him up so I'm trying to decide I mean he's not gonna be there for another maybe 15 minutes and there's um, home bargains over there there's so many shops here this little shopping complex is good for the range um, but the rest of them, I'd say they're fairly average. There is a home sense here, but it's TK Maxx home sense combined. So, um, I do prefer another home sense closer to me. Oh, and there's a B&M over there as well. I think I might just nip into home bargains. It's only there. Um, if there is anything worthy of vlogging, I will vlog it. But otherwise, I might see you guys in Didsbury. And maybe persuade Tom to grab a bite to eat somewhere when we can maybe sit out um because there's loads of dog friendly places in Didsbury so maybe maybe I could convince him to do that it is a working day so he will have work to do so whether or not that's likely I don't know but anyway got some bits from the range thumbs up I'll show you them when we get back and as for now home bargains it is and then Didsbury No, no, I'm in white. I'm in white. You stay there. It's all right, Papa. So, I'll put that money Good in the boy. account about two months. Oh, that problem. <laughs> okay, it's so a change of plan. Your exit is. Convince convinced Tom to go for a lunch with me and did spray because it's got work, which I thought you might have, so. It's fine. 
So Grexit it is, and do you know what? I'm pretty happy about that. Oh, we're a bit back like because of that steering wheel. And Mr. Man's in the back somewhere. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Back where we started. Oh, did you hear my hip click then? There's just something about Greg's. You just can't beat. I actually, there's an Iceland in our the range, and they've got a whole Greg's frozen pasties type section which i usually get but i was like mm, i'm not gonna get them today and then when tom said should we go to greg's i'm like let's do it well, their mockers are good though okay so i did pop into home bargains so i'll just show you a couple of bits that i did get because it's not many just two bags of popcorn i'm a popcorn lover we had some popcorn last night and i just had the taste for it and when i saw these i think they're about three pound 49 each kind of pricey to be honest with you but they're obviously like brand collaborations with Twix, Oreo, there was another one as well I can't remember which one but these were the two that sounded best for me so yeah it's popcorn with Oreo and Twix on which sounds delightful and then I also got from Home Bargains they didn't have this in the range the 1001 Carpet Fresh Pet one i ran out of this yesterday and i love using this after i hoover i always spritz the carpet with this and this is the one that eliminates odors pet odors as well so uh, i don't know if the others are pet friendly or not so i always just opt for this pet one which is the thai orchid and passion fruit they didn't have that one in the range so i got it from bnm <laughs> bargains all the bargain homeware stores and then everything else that i got was from the range however i'm just gonna say they had a taster of autumn like i predicted like i thought they would it was very much one aisle with a bit of halloween stuff only one autumnal kind of decor piece which of course i had to purchase and the rest of it all being kind of just halloweeny and there were also three empty aisles that they're obviously cleared the shelves ready for all the autumn and homeware stock i will say in the uk i feel like we struggle to get home decor pieces that are autumnal like and pretty and nice there's loads of halloween stuff or spooky stuff or scary stuff even the likes of like home sense and tk maxx a lot of like the pumpkins or the decor pieces are all halloween themed um however home sense is the place to be for autumn decor so yeah i did see this this is actually an led candle ring so you can pop a candle in the middle but i even just quite like the idea of this it's only 4.99 for using the kind of foliage and stuff the pumpkins themselves are really cute this one in particular obviously because it's the white one i love but then obviously they've got a kind of peachy toned one and not orange that you could easily spray paint if you just prefer white decor like i tend to do or um leave them as they are and yeah so it's a little ring that you can put a candle in the middle of or i suppose you could just have it as like a little mini hanging wreath 4.99 i thought that was a pretty good price point for that they had some winters of floras out and this one is my favorite because it's not too wintry it's actually quite a nice transitional one so i tend to use this one in autumn as opposed to winter so it's the cranberry and orange a sweet and refreshing fragrance bursting with juicy cranberry citrus notes so it's festive but it's also very fruity so that's why i like that one and i haven't seen that one in a while i do find the bargain homeware stores this year have tended to just keep out their winter sephoras usually it's like the mad hunt or stockpile it last year for next year but actually like warm cinnamon i swear has been in home bargains all year and loads of it as well i wonder if they're going to come out with any new fragrances this year i hope so well i mean they've come out with some recently which i've got all of them and uh, but yeah festive ones or autumn ones i hope so i picked up some essential pegs just a load more plastic pegs i've got some bamboo ones but i do find the plastic ones are better and i tend to run out of the plastic ones so i just stockpiled on some more of those not very interesting a little treat for barney this um, i like to use these wag treats because they're a good size to take on walks and just have like a pocket full of them they're dried as well so they don't smell they're not gonna ruin your pockets um i do actually have a little treat bag for him but if not then these ones are good so these are for eight weeks old so suitable for puppies skin and coat so they're duck and cranberry flavored and they've got omega oils to help support their healthy skin and coat which is i think a new one and they're usually like 99p or a pound i also saw this for 1.99 now i've seen these on amazon for a lot more like really expensive to the point where i was like 
oh, do I? Is it worth it? What if it doesn't work? So that's the thing with pet products. You can end up spending a fortune. Uh, it's like toys, for instance. And Barney just destroys them. So I end up buying loads of toys. And it's the plush soft ones that he doesn't end up destroying anyway. So I do like to treat him, obviously. And get him new toys every once in a while. <laughs> every time I go shopping. But yeah, they just get through them, don't they? So, I mean, other pet owners out there, let me know I'm not alone, please. So they have these in uh, green and blue. I just opted for the blue. And it's like a little pour brush that you can put soapy water in um this container and it just these bristles these rubber bristles help clean their pores so yeah i picked that one up 1.99 hopefully his paws will fit in them because they didn't have a bigger size i also stockpiled on another kong easy treat i actually need to get him a new one i've only got the puppy kong so i want to get the adult version i had the black one but it's too small for him i'm worried he's going to swallow it so i need the large one and they didn't have any left in store in the range so i'm gonna have to maybe buy one online but these are good on like licky mats and all sorts then i also got one of the, one of these uh ball throwers i think this is a pound it, i did have another ball thrower for him a longer one but the ball went missing so i figured i'd just get another little mini one easier to carry on walks and then i got a harpic active fresh pine mountain pine it's my favorite scent and then these i love these are the lenore outdoorables i get the spring awakening one and honestly they smell so good they're ultra concentrated so a little bit goes a long way however i tend to fill up the drawer full that's probably why i like it so much because it's so it smells so good then i also got these i've never seen these before from minky they are iron cleaning cloths i've never heard of them before removes dirt for a smoother ironing because you can get a bit of build up can't you on an iron which sounds gross then i also got these three items from their little cleaning range that they have which just look beautiful i mean you can tell it goes with my whole kind of beige love so i've got one of these wooden handled brushes i do actually already have one of these but i couldn't say no it was only a pound then i think this one was 2.99 and it's a duster and it's got one of these removable um microfiber bobbly things that you can pop in the wash yeah when i saw this for 2.99 i thought i'd pick it up really easy to dust with and then a, a dustpan and brush so again really aesthetically pleasing not the most practical in terms of like storage because they don't stick together in any way um but it does have a little jute thing that i could maybe tie through that hole um yeah at the minute it's just got a little cable tie on but i love the look of it and how sleek and cool does that dustpan and brush look? So yeah, that was the other dog toy that I got for Barney. It's just one of these little, um, is it a chicken? Is that a chicken? With the rope legs. I feel like it's, it's got a squeaker in it. I'm not going to squeak it, but it does have a squeaker in it. You don't want to send your dogs crazy with this. But I just like the kind of almost hessian fabric to this it is literally like a jute hessian fabric. Place your bets below on how long you think this toy will last because... They're becoming less and less frequent. I swear as a puppy, he never used to destroy toys. And I was like, oh, perfect puppy. Never destroys his toys. And now it's every single toy. Even his favourite plush ones from Ikea. His dog, his beloved dog, which he has an obligatory humping session with every single night. Even that now has about 10 stitches. I feel like he's probably due a new one. But yeah, that, oh no, it's not everything I got. <laughs> Hold up. The best part, the best purchase in my opinion, and actually the first thing that I picked up, this set of three wicker baskets. And I loved these because they've almost got like a whitewash to them. So they're not a real brown wicker. They're not a real orangey wicker. They're just a really nice, subtle, neutral wicker. And also the linen fabric on the inside is again, like a neutral, ties in nicely with the color rather than like a stark white. It's a really natural beige colour that I just love. So you get a set of three. You get a small, medium and large. And these are just perfect for going in like a utility room. Stockpiling some cleaning products in. For putting within drawers and wardrobes for like underwear organisation. Just all sorts really. My main purpose for these sort of things are more utility or kitchen based I feel. Or linen cupboards, that kind of thing. But yeah, I really like them. I mean, even on display, they look really nice. They don't have to be thrown away within a cupboard for organisational purposes. They can be on display and look lovely too. So that is everything that I did pick up. I'm going to go enjoy my Greg's cheese and onion pasty now. And probably throw my hair up. 
I was going to say get comfies on, but I've got my comfies on. These just are nice comfies because, as you probably saw earlier, cream and a dog that's been swimming is not a good combination. So when Barney saw me and he was like jumping, I was like, no jumping, no jumping. So yeah, when I say put comfies on, I might put something dog appropriate on to give him good cuddles. That is everything that I picked up from the range. I do feel like the range of all the bargain homeware stores. Let me know if you agree with me on this has the least frequent new stock being added to it. I swear I've been in the range and every time I go in the range, most things are still in the same place. They very rarely reorganize and shuffle things around. They've just got a seasonal section which changes round, but that's it. Let me know if you agree with me on that. So of all the bar bargain homeware stores, I feel like it's the one I can go to less often because I don't want to repeat my content. But anyway, I'm rambling. I hope you have all enjoyed this video nonetheless. Just a, a little reminder, if you want to check out this Captain and Son backpack, then I will leave it linked below. Thank you so much to you guys for watching, and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.